Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I am currently a freshman at Kent State University studying fashion merchandising, and today I am doing a 10 things freshman year taught me. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing a bunch of these different 10 things kind of videos. It's gonna be kind of like a college series, 10 things I brought to college and used every single day, 10 things I brought to college and never touched, 10 things freshman year taught me, 10 ways to have an awesome year da, 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 da. like the list could go on so if you have an idea for the 10 things series like leave the com leave it your suggestion in the comments below because I'll definitely take those things into consideration but anywho without further ado let's hop right into the 10 things I learned my freshman year of college number one thing that college taught me is that you rely on your parents a lot more than you think being thrown into college life will really just open up your eyes to how much your parents do for you suddenly you have to wash the dishes and you have to fold your clothes and you have to do the laundry and you have to put things away and no one's going to sit there and remind you to do the things that your parents are constantly nagging you at and as nice as it is to be on your own you will realize how much your parents did for you and how structured things were with them around Obviously, you may have done the dishes and done your own laundry while you were living at home, but it's such a different dynamic being at school, and I realized very, very quickly into my freshman year how much I really took my parents and all they did for me for granted. Number two, living with roommates is not always easy, but it is without a doubt the most fun you will ever have. I know that not everyone has an awesome roommate experience their freshman year, but I can assure you that living with people will bring so much joy to your life, at least I thought it did. Um, I lived with three different girls and I love each of them wholeheartedly. Olivia, Emma, and Lauren were my three roommates and I truly could not have asked for a better experience. We had the most fun between like late night bagel sandwich runs to just really 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 late night Saturdays just the dumb stuff that they were constantly doing it's just it is so much fun it's a constant slumber party I know that things with boys may be a little different but I promise you boys are doing stupid stuff all the time together too and just really having a ball I think that your experience living in a dorm is truly unmatched like there is nothing like it do not take it for granted my semester was cut short because of the coronavirus and I literally miss my roommates more than I ever thought I could I definitely loved having my alone time and appreciated the time when one of them was away visiting a boyfriend a friend on vacation whatever and I enjoyed having the room to myself but every time they came back I was like oh my god it's so good to have them back and to constantly be surrounded by your friends number three the freshman 15 is real I went to the gym pretty much every single day um, after like the third week of school I started to go to the gym and I went from like three days a week to going pretty much six to seven days a week I stuck with that through the rest of the semester and I still gained weight I still am at least 10 pounds heavier than I was when I left for school that's totally fine guys you're not gonna be the same size you were when you were 18 years old as you are gonna be when you're 22 23 walking out of college keep that in mind like it is okay for your body to change but do know that those calories and college and the french fries and the constant candy and snacking and late night eating and pizza when you come home at 2 o'clock in the morning it is real and it adds up <laughs> number four college gives you the chance to reinvent yourself like and it's purest form you are walking into college and you can do whatever you want to do you can be whoever you want to be obviously don't change yourself entirely like you are who you are but if you did not have a good high school experience college can be completely different for you or it can be the completely the same it is really 100 percent based on your mindset and the way that you decide to be proactive and to proceed with your years. I came into college with not a ton of girlfriends and I really wanted to change that. I was such a guy's girl in high school and part of me does miss that sense of like being one of the guys in college. I do not have that the way I did in high school, but it was a chance for me to really finally have this big group of girlfriends and I just tr truly like became such a girl's girl and had so many awesome friends from every different walk and whether it was from sorority, just a friend of a friend, someone from class, your roommates, your hallmates, your sweetmates, 
like you have so many opportunities to become friends and I truly did change in that one aspect that I have so many more girlfriends now than I ever have in my life. Number five, doing your own laundry stinks and my mom does my laundry here and I didn't realize how much I appreciated her doing my laundry until I went to school. It's not so much the act of like actually doing the laundry, it's just like the thought of doing it that kills me. You know what I mean? Like I feel super productive when I'm actually doing it and I'm like folding my clothes and putting them all away but three loads of laundry piles up really really fast in college at least for me I had three loads of laundry every single week but there's literally nothing worse than when you go to the laundry room and all of the washers are full or one of them is broken and now your clothes are sopping wet or it's midnight and there's no dryers open or you walk into the laundry room and your sopping wet clothes are on the ground because someone couldn't wait 30 seconds for you to come get them doing your laundry stinks thank your mom now for doing it for you because I promise it is something that you will miss a hundred percent when you go to college. Number six, you must invest in a good pair of walking shoes. I learned my lesson so bad. The first few weeks of college I was wearing whatever shoes I would typically wear to high school and I'm a fashion major so obviously I like dress pretty nice every day this is pretty typical for what I would wear to school I was wearing heels mules wedges like whatever and literally I was walking at least first semester my classes were so far away from each other that I was walking at least five miles a day at least my feet I would come home and I literally could barely stand like I had the biggest friction blisters on the bottom my feet were just destroyed and it literally took until Chris I feel like I've said literally so many times in the last three minutes but that's how much I'm trying to emphasize this I came home my feet did not heal from the blisters that I got the third or fourth week of school until December they finally healed do yourself a favor, invest in a good pair of walking shoes. You will need them. And if you're not someone who's like super into like just sneakers like me, like I just could not wear like a pair of Nike sneakers to class with this, obviously. Off the beaten track shoes saved my life. Number seven is the first time you go home, you will cry. So I'm from Maryland, but I go to school in Ohio. It's about four and a half, five hours away. And the first time I went home was over fall break. I was not planning on going home. All my roommates were going home and my parents were like, look, we just can't come get you. And I decided to spend $300 on a plane ticket of my own money to go home. And I I literally cried so hard when I walked in the door like when I had finally taken a shower and like laid down at night because I did not realize how much I missed home and how grateful I was for the place that I came from and grew up in until I came back. I had a really easy adjustment to college. I was not homesick whatsoever. Um, I like jumped right into the swing of things. I was so busy. I was loving it. I had so many friends. I really, really enjoyed my classes, balancing school, blogging, work was super easy for me and I think I owe part of that to the fact that my senior year of high school I was really ready for a change I was ready to move on um but so I wasn't homesick but I realized like when I came home that very first time that oh my god I really did miss home more than I ever thought I did and it is totally okay to cry it's totally okay to hug your parents and say Oh my god thank you so keep that in mind number eight is it is okay to struggle school wise so personally I got straight A's my first semester I was a double major fashion merchandising and journalism I ended up dropping journalism just for money purposes and the fact that I would have to be at school for an extra two years and I just didn't want that but I loved my classes I took 16 credits first semester 18 this second semester and I really really love school like I said I did get A's but there were definitely a assignments that I did not do as well on as I would have hoped. It's okay to struggle on a few assignments. It's okay to fail an exam. It's okay to not do well on a project. It's okay to realize three, four, five, ten weeks into school that the career and the major that you're in is not the path that you want to be on. It is okay. That happens to everyone at some point when you're sitting there and you're like, oh my god, I'm having a midlife crisis because what I thought was meant for me wasn't meant to be. That is okay, guys. And it will happen. Like I said, it happened to me. I ended up dropping the other major and I still could not be happier with the path that I'm on and this new major and route that I am taking. Taking. So just know that it's okay. Some people will adjust a little bit easier than others. I walked into college with 
college credit already from my high school and I had already taken eight or nine AP classes so I was totally used to a super busy schedule and a heavy course load as it was so everyone's different number nine is that you will have more and yet less free time than you've ever had in your life so in so many ways college gives you so much freedom in the sense that you may only have classes two three four days a week so in high school you're sitting in class from literally like 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every single day Monday through Friday and then you have extracurriculars homework dinner you know family time go to bed or whatever college is so different at least for me I only have classes two days a week this semester Tuesdays and Thursdays and then the rest of the week it's like oh whatever now you still have homework you still have assignments sorority events hanging out with friends meeting up with people working if you have a job so your time is consumed differently but you will have more free time and yet less free time because assignments and stuff do take a lot longer I think when you're in college so it just depends if you are someone who is worried about working and making that work in college working in college is 100% doable I worked 30 hours a week pretty much every single week in college give or take a few weeks you know some weeks I'd work less some weeks I would work more and I totally made it work I had an awesome freshman year yes I did miss out on some parties I did miss out on some things but I wouldn't change the way I did anything for the world because I'm so happy with the way that my first year went but I will say that time management this should be another tip the only reason I didn't put time management on here is because I learned time management really early on in high school just because I do have a blog and I do have school and I've always had to make those two work together. But time management is a big thing that a lot of people really go through their freshman year. You can have lots of free time in college if you utilize your non-free time the right way if that makes sense like if you micromanage and you plan things and you make sure you get all your things done before 3 p.m you can have the rest of the day to hang out with your friends and grab food and go to the gym and do whatever but it's up to you to have that kind of schedule and to be motivated if that makes sense the last thing freshman year taught me is that everyone goes through freshman year differently and I think that that's really important to remember not only to be compassionate and sympathetic towards other people but to really have the best year yourself it is so easy with social media YouTube Instagram snapchat whatever to think oh my god so and so posted a picture with seven girls and she looks like she's having so much fun and I'm not the comparison game will literally kill you in college it was so easy for me to look at everyone else and be like oh my god like they look like they're having way more fun and then it would discredit the fun that I was having I'd be like well I'm having fun but they look like they're having more fun that is so wrong or if you're someone who's really homesick and having a harder time adjusting I know my roommate had a little bit harder time adjusting freshman year a little more homesick the first semester whereas I was a little more homesick second semester um, everyone goes through college differently it's okay if you're missing home and no one else around you is it's okay if you're not missing home and everyone else around you is it's totally fine everyone goes through it differently so if you like your major and you don't and then you just Side you don't like it that's fine if you call home at seven days a week that's fine like I think it's so easy to get wrapped up in what everyone else is doing that you forget to really center your focus on yourself appreciate freshman year take it by the reins and love it wholeheartedly try new things go to sporting events get involved be in a sorority rush like go through it if you want to find new friends in every aspect always say hi to people appreciate what you have because coming home for this coronavirus and just all of a sudden just being ripped away from the life that I just built there has been truly a hard adjustment and I miss it every day um, but I could not be more grateful like I said for the best freshman year I could have ever asked for thank you Kent State for such an awesome first year I'm so excited for three more and to get back in August that's going to be all for the 10 things I learned my freshman year of college I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any more suggestions slash recommendations for the 10 things dot 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 series like 10 things I learned from this 10 things I brought to college and didn't use anything like that um, leave them below and I'll take those into consideration I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next video bye guys